these settings will help you go from this to this. Hi there matey, Steve the Pirate here. Welcome to my Force Horizon 5 setting for the Logitech G923 on Xbox Series X. I've done other Forza Horizon 5 wheel settings, but these ones are specifically for the Logitech G923 on Xbox Series X. Going into settings, for difficulty, I've got steering set as simulation, traction control off and stability control off. For shifting, you can go to manual with clutch if you want to, if you've got the H shifter. I prefer manual. Going into controls, I've got the wheel set at default layout 1. This puts the e-brake at the B button. If you want to change that to the right paddle, you're going to have to pick a custom wheel profile and bind all your buttons individually to whatever you want them to be. Going into advanced controls, I've got vibration set to on. And then everything's set to default until we get to steering axis dead zone inside. That's at zero. Steer at Steering axis dead zone outside, 80. Steering, linear, steering linearity, 46. Acceleration axis dead zone inside, zero. Acceleration axis dead zone outside, 100. Deceleration axis dead zone inside, zero. Deceleration axis dead zone outside, 80. Clutch axis dead zone inside, 15. That's just in case you want to rest your foot on the clutch. Clutch axis dead zone outside, 90. E-brake axis dead zone inside zero, that's because we're using a button. E-brake axis dead zone outside 100, once again, because we're using that B button. Vibration scale 0.4. Force feedback scale 1.0. Center spring scale 1.0. Wheel damper scale 1.0. Mechanical trail scale 1.0. Force feedback minimum force 0.7. Force feedback load sensitivity 1.0, road feel scale 0.8, off road feel scale 0.8, steering rotation I've got that set as 720, this is all based on what car you're using, for the faster cars I'd reduce it down to 540 and for the slower cars I'd probably go up to 900, so D class 900, X class 540 and then just average them out for the other classes. Steering lock multiplier 1.0, steering speed sensitivity 1.0, and that is it. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to leave you with some gameplay. Thank you so much for watching. If you happen to find these settings useful, a like would be truly appreciated. And so you don't miss out on future wheel settings videos, hit that subscribe button. I'm Steve the Pirate. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe. Play awesome.